Now with your storm team weather, here's Chief Meteorologist Chris Ramirez. Sponsored by Jim Bass Cars and Trucks. Welcome back, everyone. It was nice to see a little bit of rain. Earlier. Yeah, definitely nice. Some of us saw some very heavy rain, while others saw no rain. So mm -hmm. definitely we saw those isolated showers make their way through the Contra Valley as that cold front came through. But looking at our time lapse for the past 12 hours, as we got closer towards the 3.30, 4 o'clock, you were able to see those isolated showers in the distance there. And you just definitely saw that hidden mist rain uh, in, the, in the picture for today as that cold front came through. Definitely a much-needed soaking. But looking at our temperatures for the past 24 hours, uh, we were sitting at 88 degrees this time yesterday, but our current high uh, today here in San Angelo was 99. And of course, when that when that rain came through, we got down to 80. So that was like a 20 degree difference that we saw within a short period of time. And of course, as the, the sun cleared, we got up to 89, and now we're back in the 80s. Uh, definitely dealing with the effects of that cold front, which we're going to feel tomorrow. Uh, but looking at our current conditions, still setting at 79 degrees, winds out of the northeast at six miles an hour, and we definitely got some viewer video of that rain as it came through. Not all of us received rain, but it looks to me that they received most of the heavy rain and some very heavy wind gusts near the Knickerbocker and southwest side of town. So this was, was sent in from Samantha Moore. She was in South San Angelo near Knickerbocker, and you were able to see that sideways rain, of course, with that pea-sized hill. And so they definitely saw some of that there. And so we got a lot of viewer reports of rainfall accumulations of, their, of the people's of viewer rain gauges. But right now, David Alness in southwest San Angelo got two-tenths of an inch of rain. Nikki Wiltshire near Good fellow Air Force Base. She got three tenths of an inch. Carmen Barons near Southwest San Angelo. She got seven tenths of an inch. And Andy Bostic and the San Angelo Country Club didn't receive any rain. So some of us received a lot of rain. Not all of us received any. So looking at all of the rainfall uh, that fell today for the past 24 hours, most of it fell just north of town near Grape Creek and of course in Southwest San Angelo. And they got a good chunk of rain. Uh, very heavy conditions and some strong storms in Concho County stretching from Paint Rock all the way to, to uh, Eden there. But looking at the current conditions in the low 70s in the Texas Panhandle right now, 68 in Midland. They're still dealing with some strong thunderstorms and flash flooding potential going on near the Midland Odessa area. So you're definitely seeing those storms still flaring up over there. And looking here closer towards the Concho Valley, that cold front is still making its way south of uh, towards the Concho Valley, making our temperatures going to bring up uh, our highs for tomorrow in the low 90s. So we're not really seeing too much of a change in our temperatures as of today. We did have a hot day today, but currently as that currently moves through, we are definitely still seeing those isolated showers and of course, those are dissipating as we go closer towards the overnight hours. Future cast starts our temperatures uh, getting into the low 70s tonight. A little bit of cloud cover. We can expect some new, a few isolated showers to come through as we head into the afternoon hours for Tuesday. Uh, but as we go into tomorrow, mostly sunny and mostly a little bit cooler. High of 91 for Tuesday, 92 for Wednesday, and then getting up to 94 for Thursday. So we're definitely going to see that gradual increase in our temperatures as we go into the end of the week. But currently across the nation, that cold front is actually stretching from New York City all the way down to West Texas. So they're dealing with some storms all throughout the uh, large chunk of the U.S. there as that cold front continues to the south. So we're definitely going to see some dry air behind that front as a high pressure system currently starts moving towards the south there. So we're definitely going to see some mostly clear and sunny conditions as we go into Tuesday and Wednesday and dry conditions at that. So look at our high temps across the state of Texas as we head into Tuesday. Highs are only going to get up to the low 90s for the most part. And and then still remaining in the low 90s as we go into Wednesday and Thursday. But as we head into next week and expect to see those temperatures get up into the mid 90s and then potentially getting up into the upper 90s, back to those hot conditions as we go into the weekend lasting into next week. But tonight, getting down to 68 degrees, still seeing a few isolated showers and thunderstorms. Winds out of the south southeast at 5 to 10 miles an hour. And as we go into tomorrow, expect our high to only get up to 91 degrees with sunny and cooler conditions. Winds out of the northeast at 15 miles an hour. And for the next seven days, expect to see those 90s for the most part as we head throughout most of the week and then lasting into midweek there with mostly sunny skies. Overnight temps in the mid to low 60s as we go into the next couple of days and we're going to see that gradual increase in our temperatures back into the very hot conditions in the upper 90s as we go into next weekend. High of 96 for Saturday, 97 for Sunday and then back at 98 for Monday. But we are still doing our winning with the weather uh, sweepstakes here. We are Dreamscapes is giving away a two and a half gallon stainless Bayou Classic Fryer and so you definitely can have a chance to win that, you can always go to the Concha Valley homepage this week, and the winner will be announced on the KSAN News at 6 on Friday, July 26. We'll be right back.